keep everything in its proper context. How did Christ say we get to the kingdom of heaven? You just read it. You finished it, right? Yep. How do we get to the kingdom? How, how do we get the kingdom? Hey. What did Christ just say? Hey. See, everybody forgot. Read again for him. He came straight. Come on. The book of Matthew. Hey, I'm going to ask you. How did the Messiah say we get to the kingdom of heaven? Good words. Huh? Good words. Good words? Words. Like words. Let's, let's love thy neighbor and thy love thyself. Watch. And the he said, it, the, the book of Matthew, chapter 19, God. verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. What? But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want that eternal life, if you want the kingdom of heaven, keep the commandments. Already. Keep the commandments, Already. right? That's what Christ said out of his own mouth. Now, Matthew 7, 21. The book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. This is Christ speaking himself. He says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, or what's his name again? Yeshua. Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus, Jesus, Yahweh Shai, everybody Yahweh. that says unto me, Yahweh, Lord, Lord, right. shall enter into the kingdom. You understand that? He said, just because you say that name don't mean you're going to get to the kingdom. Right. Read it again. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, Bring it out. shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Y'all got that, right? But what? But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. You see that? So in order to get to the kingdom, we got to do the what? The will of the Father, right? What do you think the will of the Father is? His commandments. He just said it, right? His commandments. So it's not about Yeshua, Yahweh Shai, Jesus. It don't matter which name you call him. Christ just said that. Everybody that says unto me, Lord, Lord, ain't going to get to the kingdom. It says you got to do the will. Now, let's, let's read the will. Watch this. This is in the same context of, remember, the, the brother came to Christ. He says, good master, what do I need to do to get to the kingdom, right? What did he say to him again? Just a recap. If you want to enter into life, do what? What did, what did Christ say? Keep his commandments. That's what he said, right? So now, you forgot. It's, see, see it. that's, how, that's why we got to keep reading. It's easy to forget. Now, Christ came back behind and says, just because you say unto me, Lord, Lord, don't mean you're going to get there. Right. you got to do the will of my Father. Now we're going to define what the will of the Father is right here. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Yeah. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So what's the will? The delight of the heart. No, what's the will? The commandment. The law. The, the law. Yeah, the commandment. Right. Read it again. I delight to do thy will, O my God. I not. delight to do thy will. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So now, the Bible is telling us that the will of God is his laws. Right. You see what I'm saying? This is That's why Christ father. said, just because you say unto me, Lord, Lord, you, you ain't going to get in. Right. You got to do the will of the Father, right. which is the laws, the commandments. You understand? Right. So now, give me Revelation 3, uh, 12. Revelation 3 and 12, watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar. In the temple of my God. Overcome what? He says, if you overcome, Christ is going to make you a pillar, meaning a support, a leader in the kingdom. Overcome what? What do we have to overcome? The evil and the wild of this world. Right. So that means what? Your personal sins, right? right. You got to overcome that. That's so you right. got to keep the will. You got to do the laws. Read it again. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. No more captivity. Right? Come on. And I will write upon him the name of my God. This is the Messiah speaking. He says, I will do what? And I will write upon him the name of my God. What's God's name? Yeshua. Yahweh. No, no, no. Elohim. No. What's, the, what's this I name? I am that I am. What's this name talking about? What's this name? Is? Christ says, I will write upon him the name of my God. What's that name? Is that the book of Revelation? Yes. So what's that name? Check it out. You know why you pausing? Because you don't know it. No, I, right. None of us know it. Right. 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 We don't know the name. Exactly. We don't have it, right? Exactly. Read it again. Him that overcometh. But you know why? Because none of us have overcame yet. We're not right. in the kingdom exactly. yet. You see what I'm saying? Read it again. Right. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. That's the proof it's talking about the kingdom. In the temple of my God. That's the kingdom, right? Go ahead. And he shall go no more out. Meaning no more slavery for us. Because 
Ephraim, or the so-called Native Americans, and y'all being so-called Southern Kingdom, or Judah, we were all oppressed together into captivity. Read on. And I will write upon him the name of my God. I will write upon him the name of my God. Watch this. And the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, Go ahead. which cometh down out of heaven now watch this from part. my God. Watch this part. And I will write upon him my new name. What did Christ say? And I will write upon him my new name. What? what did Christ just say? My new name. He's going to write upon you his new name. What? You see what I'm saying? Right. All the titles that we have now, Jesus, Yeshua, Yahweh Shai, Yehoshua, Elohim. Elohim, those are all temporary titles. Right. We don't need I to get that I am. You, you understand? Yeah. So there's no there's no strife or contention about whether we call him Jesus or Yahweh Shai. You understand? Yeah. Christ said he's gonna hold on. Christ said he's gonna write upon you his new name if you overcome. So now, are you applying God's commandments right now? Are you, are you? I try to every. I, I try to every day. I don't. I, I don't get everything right every day, but I stay fast. I try. Okay, every let me day. Let, let's do one of the basic things we were just touching on. Right, okay. Christmas. Right, you keep Christmas. Christmas is a pagan holiday. Do you keep Christmas? That's Do I keep question. Christmas? Hmm. No, not really. Not really. I so, just, so not really means you do. I know. Because I can really. say emphatically, I don't I, celebrate I am, it at all. I, I, right. I'm, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. That doesn't mean, I'm, I mean, everything around me is to celebrate. My sisters, so y'all understand, based on what the officer brought out, we're not to deal with Christmas, right? Right, the custom that he brought out in Jeremiah. Now, that was hundreds, maybe even a couple thousand years. Let me see. Ba ancient Babylon, that was about six up. That was about 600 B.C. So we're talking about 600 plus odd years before Christ was even born. They were keeping a custom of cutting down a tree and decorating it. Right. right. You understand? We're not to do those things. The Bible told us not to do that. You see what I'm saying? I have a question. So now, give me, hey, give me that Black Indians book real quick. Hey, hey, sisters, I want to ask y'all a question real quick. Y'all know each other. Y'all look, y'all talk. Y'all know each other, right? What's the difference? She's so-called Native American, right? You're what tribe are you from again? American Black Judah. Judah. What tribe are you from? What tribe are you from? You don't know, look at the sign. What tribe you from, brother? Kush. No, no, no. Look at the sign. What tribe y'all from? Judah. Okay, Judah, Judah. So now, let me ask y'all something. What's the difference, all three Judah, what's the difference between y'all three and then her over here? There is none. There's no difference, right? The same people that came over and colonized the land, took the land from them, are the same people that brought us here and enslaved us. Right. You understand? Now listen to this scripture right here, Jeremiah 50, 33. Then I want that. What was your order for me? Uh, okay, Jeremiah 50, 32. Watch this. Listen to what the Bible says. Now, he referenced it earlier. He said Ephraim is what? What does Ephraim represent? Okay, Ephraim represents the top the top tribe of all these other tribes here. Right. Right? So you would technically be considered Ephraim, although you're from the tribe of Gad. Right. All of y'all would be considered Judah, even if you were from these three tribes. Right. These three go together. All of those go together. You understand? So watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 33. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. So now, the children of Israel represents from here all the way down, which would include Gad, right? The children of Israel and what? And the children of Judah were oppressed together. Were what? Oppressed together. What do y'all think that's talking about? All the 12 tribes were oppressed together. Come together. Oppressed together. What's oppressed mean? Huh? I don't want to say that. What, what is oppression? Oppressed? Y'all give me the definition. So we got to read it for this. What, is the, what does the term oppressor mean? Y'all ever heard of the oppressor? No. All right. We got to bring these things out. Basically. Come on. Give me that real quick. Read it again. Verse 33, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Right, so now they think it means to be brought together, but there's some key in this. Oppression, prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or control. See that? Prolonged or what? Prolonged, cruel, prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or control. You understand that? Prolonged or unjust treatment. So now the Bible is telling us that we were untreated, or we were treated uh, prolonged, unjust, 
and what was the other word they used? Cruel. And cruel together. You understand that? Y'all with me? So who did that to us? Who treated us cruel, unjust? Yes. White huh? Man. Who did that to us? White man. Okay, you already said. Who oppressed us? Who treated us cruel, unjust? Who does that to us? Slaves and white people. Okay, now we now we getting on it. Right. So we're, read this again. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Were oppressed together. Now, let's pull this out of this book right here. This is your book? Yes, sir. Let's read that part, that, that highlighted part you got in there. This is the book Black Indians. Y'all heard of this book? Now, let's pull some out of this book right here. Let's start that. Page 26. For the people of the Americans, the arrival of Columbus was hard. Now. The people of the Americas. Who was here first? Were we here first? Yes, but who? So-called natives, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so technically it'd be her people, right? Yeah. The natives were here first. Watch this. For the people of the Americas, the arrival of Columbus was hardly a blessing. It says the arrival of Columbus was hardly a blessing. What do they teach y'all Thanksgiving is about? Bring it out! People coming together. People are coming together. The like world. the conquistador. You know what the term conquistador means? It means a conqueror. Right. That's, right. That's what it means. They came over here to conquer. The conquistador, that's what it means. There was no such thing as this, this old beloved meeting between the conquistadors and the natives. That's BS. Read right. it again. For the people of the Americas, the arrival of Columbus was hardly a blessing. So it was not a blessing when Columbus came over here and met your forefathers. Read on. On his first day. October the 12th, 1492. On his first day, he did what? The explorer wrote in his diary, I took some of the natives by force. By force. That's oppression. You understand? Force or cruel punishment. Come on. When he loaded 1,100 Taino men and women aboard four Spanish ships. So wait a minute. He, he loaded 1,100 Taino men on ships. What is that called? being loaded on ships. What is that called? Will, what's... I got it. I know. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's called slavery. Yeah, that. Now, give me that in Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? They were oppressed, they were in bondage in Egypt. The Bible is prophesying that the children of Israel were what? Shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Meaning the children of Israel will go into bondage or slavery again on ships. This, this document is telling us that Columbus took your forefathers and foremothers to Spain on ships. That was before her forefathers and foremothers and mine were brought over here on ships. You see what I'm saying? So now, going back to Jeremiah 50, 33, it says, the children of Israel, let's read it again. Let's read that again for it, so we can bring that back in its full context. Then I'm going back to this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Meaning we had the same conqueror. The same people oppressed us, conquered us, killed us, enslaved us. They did it together. Now we look at each other oftentimes like, oh, they, they, they natives. Those are Negroes. We, we're the same people, just different tribes. The same things happen to us. Now, come back to this again. When he loaded 1,100 Taino men and women aboard four Spanish ships, mm. the crowding and stormy Atlantic crossing took a fearful toll. So now, 1,100 men and women on the ships, on four ships. Come on. Only 300 survived. So now, out of the 1,100, only 300 survived. What happened to the other, what is that, 800? What happened to the other 800? Only 300 survived. What happened to them? Chelsea, what happened to the other 800? Guess what? They died off through the disease, famine, and they threw them overboard. 
They threw them overboard, just like just like the so-called Negroes being brought here. They threw them overboard off the times. Same thing. Come on. This is early in the chapter. His response as a European was to say that Indians must be made to work and adopt our ways. See that? Indians must be made to work and adopt our ways. You know what's one of those ways? Christmas. Same thing right. they was reading earlier. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, right. birthdays. You understand? Come on, I want more. Yeah, come on. La Casa led a determined effort to hold to halt Indian bondage. He pointed out that the Indians died off by the thousands from slavery. From what? From slavery. The Indians died off from what? By the thousands from slavery and European diseases. And European diseases. So it's the same thing with the so-called Negroes. They did they did something on us called the uh, it was called the Tuskegee experiment, right. where they injected syphilis in us. You know what I'm You heard about that? Again, we were oppressed together. They did the same thing to us. We're the same people, just different tribes. What you got for me? Come on. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved God to wrath. Y'all hear what the Bible says? It says, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because what? What does it say? Ye moved God to wrath. We made, we made God angry. How do we make him angry? Huh? Yes, he said. Y'all heard what he said? Say it loud so they can hear you. That's how we made God angry. Because look. Huh? Not abiding the commandment. There you go. Now you want it. Now give me that Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Look it out. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So now, what you got? Something else? Yeah, come on. Got two more. Forced labor in Spanish mines and the Americans was so harsh that the average worker died before he was 26. The average worker, that's talking about the so-called natives, died before they were 26 years old because of the forced labor, the slavery. You understand? That was oftentimes before they brought the so-called Negroes over here because they decimated the native tribes and said, listen, we got to get more slaves. Right. Let's go get the Negroes from Africa. Right. That's what they did. Brought us over here and did the same thing to us. Is there more? Come on. Children are torn from their distracted parents. Parents from their screaming children, wives from their frantic husbands, husbands from their violated wives, brothers from their loving sisters, sisters from their affectionate brothers, see them collected in flocks like a herd of swan driven to the ships. Driven to, driven to the what? Driven to the ships. Driven to the ships. The what? The slave ships. Okay? So yes. They went into slavery just like we did, just like our ancestors. You understand? Now, all that it is right there is divide and conquer. Right. They took the children from the parents, the wife from her husband, the husband from the wife and children, divided us and conquered us, enslaved us. Right. You understand? Now, come on. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter so does that mean God hates us? Let's read this right here. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it up. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says y'all are a holy people unto him. Read on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. No under. Above all people. Equal to all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God says y'all are above everybody else on the face of the earth. What? Have you ever heard that in any Christian church any any sermon anywhere on the planet. Can somebody get the Bible real quick so they can see that themselves? Show them that out of the Bible. Matter of fact, y'all come close. Look at this. We just read it out of here. Look at it right here. Turn it around. Where we at? Seven and where is it at? Six. Six right here. Read that. Read that. You read it, sis. Come on, read that. I know I know a little bit about it, but I can't read it. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto, unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? We didn't make it up. Right. God says he chose y'all to be above everybody else on the face of the earth. That's right. That means the Caucasian, the Chinese, the right. Japanese, the right. East Indian. Right. Y'all, on this sign right here, the 12 tribes of Israel are above everybody else. That's what God said. Right. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is family.
nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.